Hi, everyone, and welcome back to this week's episode of the Real Talking Podcast with your hosts, Ash and JD. Now, I know that we did say we were going to get straight into the emails, but we have got some breaking news. No oh, news. I haven't got any jazzy theme tune or anything to play. Well, you know, like, uh, I've, I've got in my head that. I had this. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh was that from? Is that Blind Day? Yeah, I've seen a black was it? Was yeah, I'm sure it's blind day. Yeah. <laughs> Single ladies. Is that the come on then? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna get coffee struck again on yeah. this one. Yeah. black coming back from the grave to get us. Jesus. Um surprise, surprise. Okay. Paul O'Grady coming out to us in a minute now. Uh right, so the breaking news is we've got the real talking hotline. Mm. We have got the phone ready. We need, well, we don't need, but we would like you to send in text messages, WhatsApp, whatever. It's not going to be on me all the time. So mm. they're not going to be able to just ring me whenever you want or thinking that I'm going to answer. To be fair, I won't answer <laughs> any phone yeah. calls. <laughs> just, just text or WhatsApp and then we'll ring, uh, read it out on the pod. Because, you know, I've been thinking for a little while, it will be a little bit easier for yeah. the listeners at home. Instead of opening an app and sending an email, just open, open the app, app and send the text it. message yeah. instead. You know, because everyone's always texting or WhatsApp. No, but it's just easy just to put the number in, isn't it? In I general, suppose, yeah. yeah. I, well, I do think it's just going to be easier just to send a text, little hello, what's going on, lads, or whatever. You know, just send it over to the number. So... You just need to get yourselves a pen and paper ready or jot straight into the phone, mm. open that phone app on your phone and get ready to type in the numbers. <laughs> so it is, right, so if you're outside of the UK, you've got to put plus four four. But, you know, anyone in mm. the UK it is 0747-0488-096. Yeah. And once again, for anyone that doesn't, listen properly the first time round or can't keep up with Ronnie Dan on the old pen and paper, old school, you know. Uh, I mean, is... or you could just pause the podcast and then get yourself ready, then write it down. Well, to be fair, it's no. going to be in the description of the yeah, uh, yeah. of the podcast as well. We'll just do it again, Judge. Yeah, you know, make sure so, they get it. Yeah, it will, <laughs> will be said many times throughout. And um, there's no visual YouTube video again this week just because of the camera issues. Or, or when there is the camera properly back on and there's a proper YouTube video on, it will be bouncing around the screen at them points as well. So once again, it is 0747-048-096. Yeah, and like JD said, anyone texting from outside the UK, put 44 instead of the zero. Yeah. So yours would be 44747-048-096. So I'm reading that upside down. <laughs> I was getting confused. I you quite well, to be fair, yeah, first. up into the nine six. I was like, oh, did he confuse me? <laughs> six nine. <laughs> Wee. Wee. So yeah, you know the back phone is ready. That is the real talking hotline. Yeah, no pics, please, JD. No, you can send pictures. JD, want no dick pics? You can send them if you want me to put them on the YouTube. You know, so I will, <laughs> you know it's not like we're earning money from it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh. Yeah, same whatever. And um, yeah, whatever messages or videos, pictures, whatever you just want to send. And uh, yeah, you just get a little shout out That's for really it. Because if someone could send a video and go, what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, voice yeah. notes. Uh, yeah. If you want a voice note to play it out as well. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's endless, limitless, limitless possibilities. You know, whatever you know that you can do on a phone, because I'm sure most of you will know more than what we do, because I'll just text i don't even yeah. use whatsapp i only seen the other day you can send you know a voice note on whatsapp mm. you can send uh like a video like a like a snapchat video so like it's 20 second 30 second video but like of yourself talking so like i didn't even know that was a thing neither at all yeah um, so if anyone that didn't know you just hold the camera so you hold the camera icon down rather than pressing it once to get your camera up. you hold that down and then you can send like a voice note but how the voice not works, but as a little, little recording. Voice notes, so 
Now, yeah, I, it's, it's too much for me. I hate when someone snaps chat, then you text them, then they're still voice. Sorry, when someone voice notes you, and you text, and I <laughs> voice note you back me, and I'm just like voice noting back. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd rather just make the phone call. I just, oh, for, I just yeah. can't cast. You know, I ain't got time to be sitting there texting and voice noting all the time. Just ring, yeah, this is what's happening then. Crack mm. on. It's just too much. But yeah, you all know what to do. You know, just uh, ping over the texts and whatever and that. And uh, yeah, just uh, we'll see where it takes us. You know, um, hopefully we start getting a bit more traffic coming through the uh, the Real Talk hotline now. Um, yeah, you know, we, we'll start posting it and uh, sharing your little uh, texts and pictures and whatever. Yeah, obviously for everyone that's listening, it'll be our 50th episode next week. Yeah, so this is 49 as we're smooth talking in your ears. So, next next one is number 50. So we right. do want a good few. You know, mm-hmm. you can still email us. Um, we want a lot of questions, like a question fan. So just like, just question after questions, just... Just to keep us going, just to, uh, yeah. Yeah, just to try and keep you more entertained. Not they're not already there, you know. Sometimes I don't think they are, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got enough, uh, yeah. enough people listening. That's true. Say enough, you know, we can never have enough, but, you know, we have more, more of you lovely people listening at home. And so, anyway, back to where we was at the end of last week's episode, because we was cutting it short, was running out of time and that. Um, but, yeah, so we've got more correspondence added on to it anyway. Mm. But what we're going to do is read the ones that we didn't have enough time for last week, do a bit more chat and rubbish, and then get on to the fresh emails, unless well, we haven't got enough time. Right. But, yeah, so we'll get into it. You know, we've beat around the bush long enough, you know, talking about the, the new Real Talk hotline, don't forget. Send the uh, text and everything in. Yeah, and that number is. <laughs> <laughs> I, shouldn't, I, I shouldn't have shut the phone. No, 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 I'm joking. I was joking. But they don't need to hear it again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we will say it again a little bit. So it's 07. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So, first email that we didn't get to last week. Uh, we'll start off with Jess. Uh, hi, Ash and JD. What something gives you the shudders? Like nails on a chalkboard style. I hate microfiber cloths. Can't use them for cleaning, even with gloves on. Mm. Now, I get this because I, I know where she's coming from with the microfiber cloths. It, it is a bit of a weird thing, like the sensation when you touch it. Yeah. And then our John, he's freaked out by them. He can't even like, look at them without getting the shivers. But for me, Dry sponge, so you're washing up sponges, or you know, be it your sink washing or you washing your car or whatever. Yeah. A dry sponge, it just I can't touch it, man. It's horrible. But I can as soon as it's wet, it's all right then because it hasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. it just doesn't I don't know, it's just something in the brain, it just just feels weird. I, I I don't know anyone else that's got that. I mean, to some it's probably a fetish, a dry yeah. sponge thing. Rubbing it on the skin or something. Uh, I bet yeah. there's some people with more fibers loving it as well, aren't there? Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm trying to think that because I'm trying to think, is there anything that makes me? The one thing that makes me, you know, should have liked that is, you know, when you have like a yard broom. Yeah. And, so, and it's got the harder brushes, bristles on it. The bristles, bristles yeah. Bristles, yeah. And you're sweeping like, like a concrete floor, but it's not like a smooth concrete floor. It's like the stony one. Yeah, the, the tarmac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one gives you that little shiver. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like, because some of the time, it's it's just the way something sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it just goes through, yeah. But uh, sometimes if you don't lift your, your feet properly when you're walking, and it like, makes that squeaking noise on certain t- floor mm. and that, that can go through, man. Um, yeah, but definitely the sponges. I, I do, I do get that. You know, the microfiber class, because again, because it is microfibers, I do feel it if, if like, my, my skin's like my hands feeling a bit dry or something. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, that particular moment as I touch it, I do feel it because I use them. I've always got one in the van, one next to me uh, on the sofa at home because I'd use them to clean the glasses and that off. And uh, so I, I do understand where, where she's coming from. So, do we reckon Jesse's got a messy kitchen now? 
No, I just use them. Quick walks or something. No, I can't imagine any. No, so they use leaves, them it leaves the marks, doesn't it? It leaves the smudges. It was where if you use microfiber cloth, it gives that clean finish, mate. Well, it depends again, on what work surface she's got. It, yeah, that and, and depends on care. what. Uh, yeah, but it depends on like, what wipe you're using and that, uh, what spray you're using first before the microfiber wipe. Mm. I mean, it, the only real answer there is Dettol, but no, nah, I use elbow grease for the well for the sides. Yeah, for the worktops and that. Yeah, just give it a little little bit of a spray, and then uh, yeah. Again, I don't even use the microfibers. I use a kitchen towel. So I'll spray it oh, all. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be saying, yeah. Yeah, walk off for a minute. Let it all just soak in. And then, um, yeah, just give it a, a little wipe with the old kitchen towels. And, yeah, nice and dry. No streaks or anything. It's all sweet. Happy days, man. The uh, was Jess, how cleans your house? <laughs> yeah. We need to know this now, don't we? <laughs> Have you got a, a messy one? Is it... Uh, is it clean? Does it smell nice? And if you don't like microfiber gloves, why would you keep buying them? That's a, that no one. That is literally. <laughs> that, to be fair, she's just, uh, she can't even use them, like, even with gloves on. So I'm guessing she's got the, the marigolds. The marigolds, yeah. And like, she still can't even touch them. People microfiber still use gloves. marigolds anymore. Well, you can still buy them. You can still buy them, but it's like, like, so it, like aprons. People, wear, you know, look, there's a stuff. Yeah, the little pennies and that. Like, yeah. But, I don't know. Have uh, you ever seen anyone wear? Because you used to. Use, I remember back in the day. Obviously, this is when people used to have. You remember nettings? Yeah, well, the I old think. net curtains. And obviously, in the summer's day, they used to like roll the nettings up so you can. Mm. You see the little grannies doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so a person in their actual home, I've not seen wearing a pinny, not well, to do the home uh, the homework. God, they're not children. The housework. Uh, I haven't seen that, but on some of the jobs, there's been uh, like they'll hire a cleaner to come in. Mm, and I, yeah, they've got yeah, all the they'll, gear. They'll whack yeah. them on because they'll put like the rags in different pockets on the, the aprons and stuff. Um, but nah, I mean, I can't say I've, I've seen them out in BM or anything to buy for uh -huh. you know, uh, work purposes. Um, no, I, I yeah. can't say I really know. Oh, what well. is this laptop doing? Excuse that. Right. that top trying to have a mare there. Bloody. Um, and we're in a roll. And again, we're in a roll again. And that number is 074. <laughs> 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 I'm every now and again, we could just roll this number up. But no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, well, we need to. That, I know. Need to get them to just, memorize they it. They could just pause it and then go back to it and play. Well, they don't even need to pause. Just go, just scroll down a little bit in go. the. The pod it's, description, it's going to be there. It's right there. Be there or be square. Yeah. Why not? But yeah, that's a thank you for your email. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, how do you clean your house then if you don't like the microfiber gloves? We need to know. Them, it's it's multi purpose, isn't it? More, like, um, yeah, so it's not just cleaning your kitchen or, you know, you yeah, use yeah, it to yeah. clean your cars and stuff and well, just everything, clean everything. Yeah, pretty much. I suppose you could clean your feet if you wanted to. I'm not that. Well, Jess won't because she doesn't like the feel of them. But, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, right, so uh, the next email. And is, again, this is from the ones we've missed last, yeah. last week. So it's from Miles. Miles is still catching up. Uh, don't know what episode they're at now, or, but this, again, I don't even know what he, uh, what episode they're referring to but uh i don't really more uh, don't really remember my dreams it blows my mind how people can recall the whole thing uh do you believe they have meaning more than just your subconscious oh uh, preventing you from wetting the bed so yeah i know what uh that was one of the ones i did on my own i had a dream uh basically fucking i woke up before i ended up pissing the bed so uh, I think that was just before Christmas. It was as yeah, baby was been, born yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, I have seen stuff like this before when some people just don't dream. And it's like, do you have a, a voice in your head as well? Yes. It's so, like my own voice talking. Like I'm thinking, but it's talking as I'm, while I'm thinking. But is it your own voice though? Yes, I just done that in my head. Yes, it's my own voice. It sounds exactly like me. Yeah. 
So, because in my head, I feel like it's my own voice as well. But he's look, not because some people seeing pictures, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like the way some people just if they're quiet, they're not even thinking of anything. It's just like just, nothing's going on. Yeah, nah. just complete emptiness. See, I'm the different because something's always going on here. I'm always overthinking. I, I, I wish I could be one of those people where, I, I, you know, like got nothing going on. Yeah. There, like, I can just switch that off and just be like, yeah. See, my way of switching off is having uh, like a podcast on or something mm. or physically watching the TV, playing a game, whatever. That's how I can stop the intrusive mm. thoughts coming in. Whereas if I've got nothing going on, if there's nothing else to distract me, and yeah, there's loads, of all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Like when I'm driving, that's terrible because I, I always like uh, it's like final destination in my head because I'm I'm looking around because I'm I'm always trying to concentrate on the road, which obviously yeah. you have to do. So I'm looking like four cars ahead on the motorway, thinking that fucker might move over now, yeah, yeah, yeah cause yeah. that person to slam on the brakes, and, that, and then everything's gonna go wrong. You know, it's it's it, it always just I don't know over analyzing things. Yeah. So I think that's why I've been quite fortunate. But you also, you get those times when you drive where you end up at your destination and you're like, how the fuck have I got here? No, I did have that the other day. They're mad ones when you're like, fuck it Yeah, up. but it was because I was engrossed in the podcast, listening to them um, and laughing at that, that I've still, even though I've got using my phone as my me, me sat-nav, um, so I'm still paying attention to it to make sure I know, even though I knew where I was going. But uh, yeah, I'm listening and laughing and that. And then the next thing I'm like, Oh, shit, yeah, I'm here. I'm, 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 at the, I'm at my destination. Yeah, I'm like, I'm around the corner. Do I need to get milk? No, I'm all good. So, and then straight to the job. And, uh, yeah, but it, it is, it's it's because I'm being distracted. Otherwise, if I didn't have my headphones and I'm listening to something, if I'm just sitting there, mm. I, I'm, I'm thinking of all sorts of stupid stuff. Stuff that you don't need to think of as well. No, my uh, partner, whenever I'm driving, it's always when I'm driving, not when I'm a passenger. She'll go, what are you thinking about? And I go, nothing. She goes, I can tell you you're thinking about something because I move my hands, like gesturing something. Mm-hmm. As a, so I've got one hand on the steering wheel and then my gear stick and when, I, not, when I'm not changing gears, I'm like, like keep flicking it. Yeah, so like, it's it's like you're, you're doing your Italian talking. Yeah. Mamma mia. That's Ciao a bella. spicy mid the ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, but going back to the dreams. Dreams, that, that was it. I forgot what the original point was. No, I can no sometimes I can have a dream and remember bits of it, and then sometimes I can have a dream and remember all of it. You know, so that is a bit strange how sometimes you can have a dream but you don't what did I dream about? I know I had one, or you just remember like a certain section of it, and there's times where you can remember the whole thing. Yeah, I mean a lot of the time I do remember a lot like, the gist of the dream at mm. least anyway. Uh I, I mean, I don't know why it would pop to mind, like, but I don't really know of any time that I wake up and I've not had a dream. Yeah. But I always feel like I've been dreaming yeah. and then I'm waking up. See, I always thought you dream when you have, when you're in a deep enough sleep, but it's the opposite. It's when you're not in a deep sleep, that's yeah. when you dream. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. did it, did Mars ask if there's meaning? Do we think there's a meaning beyond Yeah, so Sorry. Mars doesn't really uh, remember dreams. Um and so, yeah, do you think that there's meanings, uh, subconscious or anything? Because um, it is a belief for a lot of people, isn't it? That yeah. Your dreams are uh, correlated to stuff. more visions than a Yeah, there. and it's it's almost like, like the star signs and that it's, it's reading your future yeah. or giving you signs from the past or whatever. I don't know. Fucking, I suppose you could deep dive into it really, couldn't you? Um, uh, uh, I think I've had a fair few deja vu moments because of dreams as well. Yes. Uh, but again, you can't prove that deja vu was a dream. Yeah, because I know I've I know thought that before. I've yeah. seen that before. <laughs> I remember, well, I think it was the first time I had deja vu. I was going to say, I was gonna say, have you ever had deja vu? Because normally with me, when I have deja vu, it's like when you see an image, like when you look at something, you're like, I've seen this before. And in that movement, like it's like a five second video of you doing that. And I've done that before. Yeah. Have you ever had one where it's like, say, like longer than 10 seconds, where it's like 15 seconds, where you know you're having diagrams, 
and then in the thing, what happens next happens as well. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah done them that. ones are freaky. Yeah, and a lot, like, and then like you, you're in it, and you're like, well, I've got deja vu, yeah, and then and in, I remember having yeah. deja vu doing this yeah, before yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's like Inception deja vu or something. You're like, what the fuck's going on? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, bro! I remember. I think it's the the first time that pops to bed anyway. So, uh, you know, the park up the road from Tim's. Yes. I remember like walking down from there as if I was walking to Tim's and then it popped in my head. I, I, I know I've done this before. Yeah. I like the way the cars come past at the same time. Like, I remember that car coming yeah. past while doing this and it sticks on my head because of the way those slabs on the pavement were all cracked. That's what triggered it in my head. But obviously the, the slabs are cracked everywhere on every pavement yeah. really. So it's just the correlation in your head of this is a similar yeah. to this bit. But it just it always stuck in my head that yeah. one. It's like when you watch the Truman Show, and after you go, <laughs> "Is that about me? Is this happening to me?" Really? And I don't know. It, 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 as soon as everyone watched the Truman Show, I remember going to bed. I went, "I wonder who that's like. Is that based on me?" Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just. It's. it's like, <laughs> do you know? What I, mean? I love that sometimes as well. Where I'm like, right, that car's been you know, behind me for a long time. Like a day following, yeah. and it. it Again, like when you, uh, you sort of like you're thinking about something, and then it will pop up like on the radio yeah. or the TV or something. You know, like, is that is that because I'm in the Truman Show, yeah. or not just because the phones and everything are listening to you? But dreams are a weird construct because, you know, as you said, some people believe the whole value. Some people they're just dreams. Mm. Some people don't have them. So it is weird how people determine. The difference between say you having a dream to someone else having a dream and you thinking it was just a dream to someone going it means something well, yeah it's a weird construct but yeah because yeah. there's even some people that believe that what we're actually living is the dream and then when they go to sleep that's when they're actually living the real life no nah, because you wouldn't the emotions when you have a dream when when you sleep and you have a dream you don't have the you feel free even if it's a nightmare, you feel there's enough. You know, you said we were just speaking about it, there's stuff going on in your head. But when you're having a dream, in that moment, you're not overthinking in that moment. You're just panicking or enjoying or whatever, experiencing it. No, so you say that, but <laughs> this is how sad my fucking dreams always are because the amount of dreams that I have that I'm grafting as well. Oh, my and God. I'm, I know it's horrible. And it's, it's like... I'm, grafting on my tricks. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, say, fit in a kitchen or whatever, and I'm struggling with something, and I'm like, fuck's sake, why isn't this working or whatever? And then I'll wake up, I'm like, why am I dreaming about that? Yeah, like, I've, yeah. I've just done it all day. I don't need to go to sleep so and then it. dream yeah. about it as well. Yeah, you don't <laughs> need to, I've, I've never dreamt about working. Like, like, never, <laughs> ever. To be fair, yours would be worse, the, dreaming about the making night, panics. Nightmare. <laughs> be a oh, nightmare. God. But yeah, I, I do. Like sometimes I'm like, why that? Like I, I remember, like I don't remember the whole dream, but there was one the other week. And like in the dream, Chuck Norris was gay. I like I don't know why. Like it, it, when I first woke up, I was like, ah oh, shit, yeah, that's a funny story. And then all I can remember was Chuck, Chuck Norris, Norris was gay. gay. Like I don't even know why. Yeah, why what gay? Happened. Why Chuck Norris? Any... I don't know. Uh -huh. Well, I, I think I know one because there's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it was an advert on TV or if it was like a TikTok video or whatever, but it was like two geezers sitting in like an American diner. Chuck Norris walks in and uh, like they start doing the, the Chuck Norris blah, blah. Uh, yeah. You know, he fucking, um, he doesn't get sunburnt. The sun, uh, the sun gets Chuck Norris and whatever back and forth to each other. And uh, then the, like, the one geezer's like, like, do you reckon he's still got it? He picks up the salt shaker. He's like, I'll bet you $10 he, he catches this, chucks it, he fucking Chuck Norris roundhouse kicks it and it hits the geezer back in there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think because of that, that's why Chuck yeah, Norris was yeah. in the dream. But why the guy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I can't remember what he did in the dream yeah. to make him be gay as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gay, Chuck Norris. <laughs> I wish I could just easily say, like, I walked into a room and he's there sucking cock or something, yeah. but I don't know. <laughs> and plus, Chuck Norris weren't gay. Gay was Chuck Norris. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Chuck Norris made that flag. Yeah. But Miles, thanks again for your email. Yeah, uh, hopefully you're all caught up now. Yeah, um, I mean, he's not far off, really. That's only like six, really. No, yeah, it's about six or seven, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah, something like that. So, obviously, nothing interesting enough for him to uh, send another email. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so thanks for that, Miles. Uh, right. So, there is another email from James. We'll get onto that on the next part. But we did have uh, the Reds 92. He emailed the other week, and again, he's asking about some footballing knowledge from ourselves, because the other oh. week it was the favourite players yes. question from him. So, uh, hey up, fellas. So, he's asking me what my opinions are on Jim Radcliffe. Uh, so, as of now, it's all official. He's got the, I think it's 27.7%. Yeah, um, well, he's taking control of that. So he's, he's taking control over the footballing matters. And also, which I didn't know, um, the other person that... What's his other comp- company? Ineos. So the other person he's got that with is like, I don't know. I don't know if he's a partner. He's, so you know Jim Ratcliffe's worth like 15 billion? Uh, I or, think he's got 60. Is, whatever it is. He's mm. got someone else from Ineos. 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 Uh, in on the menu board that's worth six billion himself. So it's so a David Browsford. That's the one, sorry, yeah. yeah so uh, just just like, he done just sitting on just sitting on I know, yeah. You uh, are twenty seven percent. Yeah. because <laughs> uh, yes, David Browsford uh did the diary of a CEO. I don't know if it's a podcast or something, but it's just what I keep hearing oh, he's, he's related to. No, no, I was maybe I'm getting mixed up then, but I know someone that he's moving over to the menu board. He's a billionaire as well. Oh, I, I do don't believe think... that's a David Browsford. I, I, I don't know. Wow, well, they're all minted, don't they? Yeah. Um, yeah sorry, Joe. But as an individual uh, shareholder, he's the majority now, but the Glazers as a whole still own the bulk mm-hmm. of the club. Um, I mean, you know, I, I wanted a 100% takeover, uh, whether it would have been Qatar. Or if anyone else would have come in, you know, there was a, a rumor about Elon Musk at one point, um, you know, Amazon or whatever. Uh, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered who. It, it just would have been, we believe, as United fans, would have just been best for the Glazers completely. Yes, yeah, get them out. Um, you know, because you look at the, the figures, how much dividends they've taken out over the years. You know, there's arguments from other fans that like, oh, yeah, but you just spent two billion. But not well. Yeah. Haven't spent it well. Yes. And, and that's the thing. Yeah. And it's like, you know, all the stupid, uh, like just, just not looking after the yeah. stadium, stupid stuff like that. And you would expect that. with Radcliffe coming in that they wouldn't be taking so much money out of the club because he can't be like, oh, I'm putting billions in and you're taking millions out. That doesn't make sense. So there's yeah. got to be some kind of understanding there that I'm putting money into it. You went taking for yeah. Quality. Hopefully that's all of so, a part. Of you would what assume so. Out, so was, it just, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, as I say so. There's a couple of things that look promising. So as I did mention the other week, getting Omar Barada from Man City, who's going to be our new CEO. Uh, I'm still a bit dubious about that. So he's on garden leave from Man City at the moment mm. uh, because he was under contract still. Could you come out but, this week as well? That Old Trafford is. There are building a new stadium potentially. Yeah, right so where uh, Jim wants to go with it basically is if he can get government funding, then he'll build a new stadium. Right. He doesn't want to put two billion of his own money to build because yeah. it won't be just the stadium; it's the infrastructure around. One about building houses. Uh, it will be like um, like a complex. It's yeah, not be a just whole a football. Complex. It'll be used for state like. Uh, Concerts and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tottenham Stadium. Yeah. Uh, there'll be restaurants and uh, hotels and all sorts. So it's multi-purpose. Yeah. So if he can get funding from the government, then he'll build a new one. Yeah. Because there's they own a plot of land right next to Old Trafford, so they'd be able to build on that and still right. uh, receive the full match day revenue from Old Trafford. Um, but if he can't get that then he's more likely just going to renovate. But again, there's complications at that because uh, I think it's beyond the Busby stands. There's the railway line. 
and so you know trying to expand on that yeah. with the railways it's it's awkward and you're losing revenue because you've got to shut a whole stand down yeah. while the work's getting done and whatever so which to be fair i mean these people that do those jobs it's like the road work people they just fucking drag it out it's like there's no rush for them and you there's know. so much red tape i suppose and i'd have to go for well them. with the logs of the stadium yeah right. you've got to make sure the health and safety's on it um but yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see it's, it's going to be uh an interesting couple of years there was an interview the other day i mean to be fair he'd asked this question before uh everything was falling falling lows this week um but yeah it, uh, there was the interview so jim was like yeah, uh, want to knock Man City and Liverpool off the perch, get us back to the glory days and whatever. <clears throat> Which is all good and well saying it, but action needs to be taken. Yeah. You know, so the logs of the Jade and Sancho. Anthony. Well, Anthony's had a, a a mad one because of obviously the allegations from his ex missus. Mm. That's going to blow your head. But still, you think with all the help that's available to you, it, with all the money you want. Tag- yeah, to, for like what you've paid for the value of the player. Yeah, but it, it's you know it that, not that's what, not the player's fault. No, no, of course not. But that that's where you go yeah. back to where you need to get obviously the money that they're spending to get spent better. Yeah, because I saw a report on it, Anthony where they could have signed him for twenty million four weeks earlier. If yeah, if it would have been the also, start of the yes, transfer window, it. And then, then it would have been a lot. So like there was like what well, is the promise now? And they yeah, just went, yeah. It's because after like. Uh, I don't know, two or three weeks of that transfer window, Ajax had already sold half their mm. starting squad. And so they were like, no, we don't want to sell any anymore. Um, and even though he was on 20 grand a week and they upped him up to 200 grand a week. From I know it's, y- ah. it's stupid. Like, you know, he could have easily just says... 70 oh, grand and you fucking... Not even that. He could have just 50 grand a week. Fucking, it would have been all right. 200 but... grand. That's the thing that put, put all these people on... Too much money for what they're worth. They can't move him on like Martial, yeah, 275 yeah. grand a week. Mm. They can't move him on. No one's going to no. pay Martial 275 grand a week. Well, I don't think so anyway. Maybe some Saudi team would now, but no one's going to buy him and then pay him 275 grand a week. It's yeah. just. But it, so- it, it will happen with a lot of other players. So uh, I'll be shocked if they opt in for the extra year for Martial. Yeah. So he'll go on a free in the summer. But I can see him doing a lot the same as Jesse Lingard, just sitting around trying to get a club, but not getting one. No, I think he'll get a club quicker than Lingard. I, I do think, I do like there's there is a player in there. As long as he stays fit. Yeah, that's I was the just only gonna say maybe the Premier League isn't for him because of injuries. But even when he went to Sevilla on loan for uh, uh, the season a couple of years ago. Yeah, he didn't ago, do well, did he? No, he's he had a couple shine, of uh, yeah. injuries then as well. Uh, but you know we'll see what happens with him but yeah there's there's a few players that need to go um, I think it's all down to just getting so like with Dan Ashworth uh, you know he said that he he does want to accept the, the job offer as sporting director um, but Newcastle are just digging the rails in saying they want 20 million awards they're going to make him go on garden leave as well uh, you know need to get that background staff sorted out as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. So then they can. But it looks like that's what he's it. doing, though. It does look like yeah. he's getting so, everything in place for the summer. Yeah, if if he can, then it, it's going to be an interesting couple of years. Now, I, I, I'm realistic. I'm not expecting things to go just change next season. We win in the league, or whatever. But if we can get on top of it, get the right signing, sell the right players. Does Rashford need to go? Yeah. I think if it's his time to if go. PSG did come in and say, right, we'll give you 60 mil for him, but well, yeah, same, take it, you know, because I think at PSG, China as well, you know, Farmers League, easy. Yeah, he, he doesn't he, have to try, does he? Nah, it? you'll he be laughing. walk around and no one will tell him. Nah, you know, because you think the PSG is not really one where the front three track back and defend no. anyway. So I think he'd be, he'd be laughing in that league. He'll, uh, yeah, get, get a fair few goals behind him, but it's just. It's not enough effort. And I think he's realised now he's not the main man. Yeah. Did you see him tracking back in Luton when Ross Barkley ran around him? He didn't do much, but... Did you see the video of what I'm referring to? Do you know? Well, I watched the game live. Yeah. Uh, so there's a clip going around where Rashford's got the ball in Man United's half and he's able to like do a U-turn with the ball, like a big, massive U. 
and obviously rushed face up to him. And he's literally got the ball, knocked it to his right, knocked it straight, knocked it to, to his left there. And Rashford still was in front of him, then he ends up behind him. Like, it literally walking pace, mate. Yeah, so if that's when I think it was towards the end of the game. He might have been, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he, he's been like it all season, though. Uh, mm. You know, I think he overhyped himself last season. He's got the contract. He's like, I don't need to work for it now. And that's what we spoke about before. Yeah. To get a good contract, and they can sit on that contract, and there's nothing that I can do there. Unless yeah. they want to pay him the contract off to move on. I know. Mm. I mean, we, we've... We have gone over it before. I think more of these contracts need to be a, a look, either a standard wage and then you get the bonuses or uh, get paid for playing, which mm. I know not many players are going to accept that. But you know, it's it is it's too much, too much. It's money, not hard it? to ask for just to run your bollocks off for four, was he three fifty a week or whatever he's on there. Uh, yeah, I've, was, I was think, he three seven four? I can't. It's, it's a shitload of money, isn't it? It's I it's think a it's lot. It's three hundred and twenty five grand because when he fucked around in uh, Belfast the other week, he was fined two weeks' wages apparently, and that was six hundred and fifty grand. Right. It's not hard. It's just, just run no. your bollocks off for ninety. Just be fair enough to run your bollocks off for ninety minutes. Yeah, that's literally that's I all you have to do. And obviously, he's got the he's got the quality, but it's that mentality of. Just run your bikes off 90 minutes. Yeah. It's, it's two of two times a week. You get your free 25, mm. your appearance fees, your goal bonus if you score. Yeah. But what more do you want, lad? Well, you know, bad news for uh you know, I only just read this like an hour ago. Uh Rasmus Hoyland's out for a couple of weeks now as well. Well, what's going on there? Just it doesn't say what the injury is. Um but yeah, so spoilers for any Man United fans that are listening to this before they've seen any uh, team news before tomorrow's. So today, as you listen to this, if you listen to it as it comes out, you know Saturday's ten a.m. Um, we are playing Fulham three o'clock kickoff. So yeah, no Rasmus Holland. Don't know what it is, uh, but I've been waiting for it. To be fair, only strike we've got fit and available. Uh, he has been playing ninety minutes. But it's, it's not even 90 minutes now, though, is it? it like, every game, it's like four or five minutes added on the yeah. first half and up to like 10 minutes added on the second half. It's it's just absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how they can expect these players to play that long. And with the stop starting because of the VAR checks and that, like, this is what has been not just United, so many injuries across the mm. whole league this season because of just the ridiculous stop start, stop start. And it will get even worse if this blue card situation does come into situation. Yeah, I don't like with that. The no, and I that. don't like that. You think the player's going to be like, all warmed and that, then sitting down for five, ten minutes, coming back on, there's going to be hamstrings no. popping all over the place. Yeah, I, I don't like that. No, nah, hopefully it gets chinned off. It's like an American idea. It's it, it, it's just... Well, Canadian really, isn't it? Because well, it's ice hockey. Yeah. Ice hockey yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, nah, it's, it's it just... Gonna work. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't come in. Um, oh, and who was that from? Sorry, uh, Red's not you too. Uh, there was a second part of the question. Oh, fair <laughs> one. I've just been rattling on about United. I mean, yeah, short and brief. Um, it's looking, it's looking promising, but I'm not going to uh, count the chickens before the eggs right. are hatched. Uh, and so he's asked, uh, do you think Birmingham can turn things around? Oh, um, you know what? <laughs> Um, I would have said yes last week, but obviously Tony Mowbray's now gone away for a few weeks. I don't know if you know if you heard uh, about uh, this. No, yeah, yeah. So after the win on the weekend, he's uh not gonna be available for the rest of the season. Obviously he's gone operational or whatever. But mm. I think we're safe enough now, considering where we are, because I think that win put Birmingham to fourteen from the table, if I'm not correct. See, I, it, I was it, looking at the championship the, the other week. To be fair, and if you go on a good run, you you can fly up. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 close because even like with the promotion spaces and that as yes. well. It's like I think it's like the top twelve are like one or two points within the the four like the knockout round. The, yes, the, yes, like, yes, yes. So between second, uh, sorry, third and sixth, because uh, uh, the last I looked, even Coventry were like uh, one point off and then goal difference or something. That's it. Yeah. Um, so it's it, it's mad because the championship it is a real good league, you know. It, it's it competitive. Put it, yeah, yeah, you could put and it I, up against most of the other top leagues around the world, 
and it would, you know, the teams would beat them. Yes. I, I, so looking at it now, Blues is currently in 15th. So I think for this season, that's it. I can't see us getting relegated. Obviously, the only one. So QPR, who is in our 22 point, uh, 20, 22 position in the moment, I got 32 points. But then there's a lot of teams in between us. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven teams I have to do better than Birmingham now to get relegated. It's not yeah. impossible, but I feel another two wins. Yeah. Yeah. 45 points in, in, in this league. And I think you're pretty much safe. So, but it, I, again, because the championship, because there's that many teams in there, it's a, it's a bit more harder to get to a certain point yeah. level and then you can start relaxing. Yes, you know? yes. Because with the Premier League, once you, you hit, I think it is literally like 38, you know that you, you're not really going to get promoted. Uh, sorry, relegated. That's it. Uh, but, yeah, but the championship, it can just turn easily. It, like within the space of two weeks, it's... it's yeah, fucking I mean, flipped. look you at Blues. I mean, with Ryan Rooney, was lo- floating around that bottom. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, he's come in, done a really good job. Well, so for this season, I think that's it for now. I think that's just it. We'll, we'll probably win two games, probably lose the remaining, but we'll be safe or whatever. You know, as long as we pick up seven points. Mm-hmm. But next season, yeah, I think with, with Tony, with the new Arnos, with Tom Brady, I think, yeah, because I think with Tom Brady being there, being a Nike Caffley, get getting Nike money back in. Yeah, I, yeah, because I did feel the same when uh, Brady was uh, involved, like getting into Blues. Then that it was going to be a couple of years of a process. Yeah, yeah. Because to be fair, not just because we are brummies, like uh, you know, grew up right by the Blues grounds, but it was always good, like you know, because Villa were either in the Championship or Blues were in the Premier League. There was yeah, there was the there only was a few times where yeah, where you'd still get those derbies, and then Derby days were quite a yeah. You know, it's I, not the same as when they're playing against West Brom or Leicester. No, or no, it's not. It, so. I will say this though with the new owners, they've put a lot into the stadium. Mm. I, I don't know if you've went past it lately. It's all. I haven't been past it for a good while, to be honest, but yeah. So it's all like on a match day, they have all the fireworks or everything. The mm. seats all have been redone on the inside. You know, it looks really nice. Uh, it, to how we look, it looks really nice. So I think next season, it, the one thing I think your Blues have really lacked is. A really good striker, but that's what everyone lacks. Just someone in that league that's gonna get you twenty goals, mm. and that, and I feel like we've lacked that for a few years. But yeah, I think next season, I think I think we'll be in there. I think we'll be in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think we might as well just jump onto the other emails, mate. Considering, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, because yeah. we've done forty-two. Because yeah. we've talked about maybe just having a little break, because. No, it's been a while. We might as well just carry on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but before we do, while well, it's just in my head, Wrexham, not really hearing much about them these days. No, uh, but they are doing decent in their league. I uh, don't know. The last I saw, I, f- I feel like they were just above Salford. But again, I don't even know. Because obviously Salford were doing well when they first come into the uh, the National Leagues. Um but yeah, not not much. Well, so, you don't really hear anything about Salford these days. No. Fair. So at the moment, Wrexham are third, but obviously, and they're point behind second, and then three points off first with a game in hand. Ooh. So man, oh, Stockport's on foot. Match played thirty three with sixty two mm. points. Manfield Town thirty two games played on sixty points. Wrexham thirty two games played fifty nine. So Ooh. basically, if if Wrexham and Mansfield win, they go first and second, and Stockport goes down to third. Yeah, no, I mean, imagine having fucking Ryan Reynolds as you fucking own it. Oh no, man. Yeah, it, yeah. But they've done the right thing. That like, obviously, they must give a shit about Wrexham. They have to, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that is an investment. That that's nothing more than investment. Well, you know, straight away, obviously. Doing the training grounds, getting all the right equipment and that in. Getting and then, the stand doing as well, getting one of the yeah, stands. Yeah, doing the stands. Um and just having that Hollywood power of getting TikTok as the sponsor, you yeah. know, that was mega money for a for a club of that size. It was just ridiculous. And they are smart because their friends can um so like Blake Lively. Yeah, Ryan's missus. Yeah, she sponsors uh the women's team like mm. on the shoulders so you just think 
she can put a lot more money in there because it's you know it's just coming from him. Yeah, you know, yeah. just and it's just just TikTok, everything just coming into it. Yeah, like the uh, welcome to Wrexham, all that money goes straight back. If you just throw that money straight back in the club, just yeah. And you think outside of the football team itself as well, just having Ryan Reynolds' name associated yeah. with Wrexham itself. You know, you think the tourism alone and everything that's going to be generated, the amount of people that aren't even Wrexham fans or probably yeah. even football fans just going there yeah. on the off chance to try I, I, and meet Ryan. Mental. Yeah. Uh, have you watched Welcome? To I've not, no. So you do have people, I think it was on the, the latest season, come from like oh, one from California. No, no, I think no, I think there's two or three now. Oh, right. So in the latest one, you have like people come from all over the world to come. Watch them play now. Mental, it? But you see, like, Paul Rudd's there. David mm. Beckham's been to a game. Oh, yeah. yeah I've, I've seen a lot of the pictures of the other celebrities and that going. Which... Oh, Will Farrell as well went to a game. Yeah. Because well, uh, so. with him, there was someone that, like, says a story about seeing him there. They were like, oh, shit, it's Will Farrell. And he, like, he's got his hat on and a coat and that. And he's like, gone over. He's like, look, I'll have a picture with you. But don't shout about it. Like, you know, I just yeah. want to just wanna chill. But then, like, next thing, he's in the pub and everything, fucking having yeah. drinks with everyone and that. He'd be a sick geezer to me, to be fair, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, you'd like to expect him to always be on the ball and having a laugh and that. Yeah. But I bet there is some time where he's just, just like, like, I can't, you, can't, you couldn't keep off. that. He, yeah, it's a yeah. level, any like, yeah. You know, it's, I suppose Sam's Jack Black as well, isn't it? Like, could you keep up that persona? Level of, yeah, not persona, because it's, it's who you are, it's that, that just level the energy of energy. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, yeah, just, I mean, because everyone mood. expects you to be. That guy, even yeah. if, so even if you're ten percent less than being that guy, mm. it doesn't seem like you are. On a, but saying that, you know, they're not always going to be a two face like Dermot O'Leary, are they? That's it. Fucking prick. Fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> so since we were, uh, yeah, thanks for your email as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, cheers for that. That was well, from the Red Ninety Two. Sorry. It was yeah, so yeah. obviously he's going to be yeah. a United fan. Uh, I'm assuming it's a he as well. Um, but yeah, since we're we're still on the football, let's bring on. James. James uh, is still James. I like James. Shit, no. The fucking wall. The non scouse scouse fan. <laughs> what's that what's that James lad saying? Uh so uh Man Shitty have got no chance. Uh the title is Clops Goodbye. <laughs> I swear to you, these lads. <laughs> <laughs> sitting at home. I can just imagine it. He's got the Liverpool bed sheets and that. He's got fucking like uh the the prime Liverpool fucking poster on the wall still with Steven Gerrard and fucking Carragher on yeah. the wall and that. Looking Robbie Fowler sniffing. Fucking Yeah, and he's got his little scarf on, he's got the little teddy bears and all that as well. Yeah. Just see him sitting in his room, he's like, Oh clap's going. Oh no, oh 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 so yeah, fucking he thinks uh Thinks Liverpool are going to do it. I mean, if, to be if, fair, if they do do it, it it's re- it'd be really well done if they do do it. But I think it's I think it's Man City. Yeah, like we said last week. Yeah, no, I know that uh, the drew against did the drew against Chelsea in the end. It, yeah, which but yeah, yeah, because that was a shock, really, weren't it? You know, Chelsea were fucking winning Sterling goal uh, as well. They were winning for a good chunk of the game, weren't they? And then uh, it was late on, I think. That Man City pulled it back, but yeah, literally was just one-one. Uh, now Liverpool played Luton, I think it was Wednesday night, um, which that was looking like it was going to be a shocker anyway. Yeah. I saw the score at half time. Luton were winning one 0 and uh, you know you see you see it all after when Man United played them on the weekend. Oh, it's only Luton, it's only Luton, fucking rare, rare. Luton are a hard team to play against. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, I think it all starts, you know, like old school a bit with this log, where it would start in the tunnel, starts with that stadium for Luton, because it's intimidating. You're walking through people's houses to get to the way end and that log. People's back gardens. Yeah. You know, it's not just the, I don't even know how many people it, like the stadium holds, but it's not just them. Everyone's round at everyone's gap and they're looking out the bedroom windows and that. You know, it's, it's, it's enclosed and it, it is their atmosphere, you know, so you can't get away from it. So you, you're fighting a losing battle mm. straight away there. And so, yeah, Liverpool do 1-0 down and pulled it back. So as it does stand at the moment, 60 points, 26 games played. Man City have got that game in hand though. 
but if they win it, they're one point oh, behind yeah. them. Who is their game in hand? Sorry, is it Brentford? I think it's Brentford, isn't it? I Man think it was loose, weren't they? Because uh, it was a game postponed, I think. Um, Who did you want? Oh, no. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Or it might be bottom after. I don't know. Uh, I, I feel like it's Luton, though, because Luton had a game flooded off, didn't they? Yes. So I'm sure that was the, the Man City fixture. But either way, you know, it's more likely going to be a fucking uh, easy win for them. Plus, Liverpool have played the extra game because they've got Chelsea in the... Carabao Cup That's final this weekend, yes. which oh, yeah, I suppose I'll watch it. I don't know whether I want to see fucking. Well, you know, I'd want Chelsea to win, but I, I, I think Liverpool will win it. Chelsea are a striker away and a good manager away. Oh, I think they've got a decent manager. I think, I think it's um. See, I think if you put Roman Lukaku back in there rather than at Jackson. And there's something else missing. I don't know what it is. It's too open. They're too open. And it's it's mad to say because they spend like 100 million on two centre midfielders. And the scene, <laughs> there's just, it just doesn't work. There's just something missing right in there. Like yeah, that Makalali. There's something just, it's not tall enough. Yeah, but, it's, uh, it, it hasn't clicked for them. No, but... no. But all in eight, I think you are right though saying it. They are one or two pieces just from clicking. Yeah, because. You know, Todd Bowley, he, it's 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 like the old saying, all the gear, no idea, yeah. all the money, but he's not spending it in the right places. But it's not funny. I mean, it's funny for a non Chelsea yeah. fan, but spending a billion pounds in like two years on a squad and not buying a striker. Like, well, they brought out Jackson. Yeah, and he cost like 50 odd million. But. You know, when they could have got Osherman last season, yeah, look, a house, like, enough, yeah, yeah, it would have been like 120 million for him or something. But then, when you're spending 100 million on, yeah, know, Casado, yeah, it, it, it's fucking another fucking drop in the ocean for him. Any, uh, I did see, I mean, this still makes me laugh. Fucking Harry Kane, how how can you go to a club that's won like Everything, 90, every uh... 99 fucking Bundesliga titles out of the last hundred and then. You go there and they're not going to win it this season. Mm. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I saw the other day that potentially uh, he's not happy over there and he's being linked with Chelsea. Now, I believe it was 100 million that Bayern paid for him. So what's what's that fee going to be? They, they're going to want the same back mm. end now. Um, and would he go to Chelsea? Is he not happy? Oh, it's, did they say why he won't happen now? Was it because of two Because think... he's been sacked now. Obviously, he's staying at the end of the season, but he's been sacked. Yeah, which we'll get on to that in a minute for James, because uh, that's going to be funner. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, again, I do think two a little bit overrated. Uh, but it just hasn't clicked. Uh, at first, it was all like roses. He was banging in the goals and that. But then it's just dropped off, hasn't it? Um you know, obviously, Tuchel was doing that at first with Chelsea. Uh, I don't know what cups he won now, but he, he did well in, in the first season. And then, I mean, it was a bit unfortunate. It was around the time when uh, Abramovich, uh, yeah, Roman Abramovich was getting all that shit, having to sell the club and that. So that's going to disrupt a, a team and a club. Uh, like what it has happened with United as well. So I understand that sort of things. But, you know, it's, uh, I still just think. We could be thrown in as managers of Bayern Munich, PSG, Real Madrid and that, and we, we could still do a decent enough job. You know, so it's it's not hard. I don't know why you struggled with Bayern because it is, you know, it's not even like it's Borussia Dortmund that's up there with them. It's, Leverkusen has never won it. Yeah, so... But I have got a really good squad there. But nonetheless, yeah. you would still expect Bayern Munich to win with the players. Got. Yeah, because any time... Uh, like any of the other Bundesliga clubs get a, a top class player, Bayern just buys them straight oh, away. Right. So you know it's it's like the cheat code, any you know. But uh, yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. I can't see Kane going to Chelsea, but I don't know. I mean, why would you go from Bayern Munich where you still have got a potential of winning? Because if it's not this season, then surely they're going to get back yeah. to it next year again. But they're not going to go through a dry spell. Nah. No. And then, you know, if you go to Chelsea, 
is it going to happen next year? No. Oh, not with Pochettino, anyway. Yeah. That that would be the only reason why it goes to Chelsea, just because he, you know, he's an old friend, an old boss. But nah, can't see it happening. Um, but then would he go to Man U? Don't want it. I didn't don't want it beforehand, it. anyway. Fucking yeah, dickhead. Yeah. No, fucking Dermot earlier. So, in, in regards to upturning James, are you referencing that Alonso yes. is the favourite to go to Bayern Munich? So, yeah, apparently there is already pre-contract talks mm. that have already been held. Um, and, yeah, he's, it's basically now done. Right. So, if that is the case, who's taken over from Klopp then? Or they've got to have something signed up. They must have had something in the back before... He announced it. They've got to have. Yeah, you'd like to think that uh, Klopp suggested. Right, yeah, yeah, just so, so like, so... and then he's agreed in block. Like, now I can say. Yeah. Because if they didn't have no one, I can't see Klopp going, I'm fucking off still. Mm. But I think Klopp's going to end up being the Germany manager after. Uh, is, it the, no, is it the Euros? This, the Euros this summer? Yeah. So I think he will end up being the Germany manager after the Euros. Yeah, good to, yeah. you know, because that would be a lot easier for him as well. Yeah. You know, essentially, it's a full-time holiday because you're going around all over the world watching your players. And, and then you just um, go back to you, Villa and Mallorca when you're chilling. Yeah, and then so. a couple of weeks every now and again. Right, come on then, lads. You come over. We'll have a little fucking chat. Go play against fucking yeah. someone else. Then done. Yeah. Send them back. So, yeah, I suppose he'd be happy with doing that for a couple I, of years. If, if, if Alonso goes to Munich, Bayern Munich, it would, I don't think, See, I know what they're on about. As you see, Roberto from Brighton, their uh, manager, Deserve. Deserve, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't, mm, I can't see him filling Liverpool. They need, I think they need like a big personality, a they big do. player. Um, but I mean, who are them big personalities these days so, as a manager? I was gonna say that's why I said all oh, big player like Atlanta because they carry, look, I tell you, like they carry that presence with mm-hmm. them, but. You know, I can't see. Well, I can't see him. Someone. It's hard. It's hard. It's I know. Hard oh, the timing's not right. Maybe, maybe he'll end up. Might end up being too trying to. Uh, if they again, haven't got someone lined up. No, because two shells trying to throw his hat into United's fucking eye line. You know, because it's with new owners, they tend to get a new manager, which I think would be really unfair on Eric Ten Hag if they sack him in the summer. To try and get someone else because mm. you know he's 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 got Mourinho players, Van Hal players, um, Solskjaer players. Well, he's still spent a lot on his own, like in his yeah. own time there. On a, he has on shit players, but again, you know, he, like we said earlier, it's it's not his fault that this cost so much. I mean, again, spend it was his decision to try and go for De Jong as well, and that was a summer waste trying to get him when he doesn't want to come. Um, but there hasn't been that sport director or whatever above him to say, no, this isn't feasible. Let's go for this player yeah. instead. You know, when you got fucking John Murta above you, like, yeah, okay. You know, going over to fucking um, Barcelona with his mates, fucking going to the hotel. Yeah, in the bag, lad, in the bag, come back. I oh, know he doesn't want to come. Fucking, it doesn't work, mm. you know. So, yeah, when the infrastructure's there, it will be better. Having that fucking background behind him, so he can just concentrate on training the team. Uh, Eric Ramsey, who's one of the assistant coaches, he's off to Minnesota something in the MLS. He's been our um, set pieces coach for a couple of years. Basically, he came in from Arsenal, and we haven't. Fucking, I think we scored like three corners since he's came in. So I'm so glad that he's gone now. Uh, so yeah, trying to get rid of other other previous managers' staff, be it the coaches or the fucking higher ups and that. If you can get your own team, which most of the time when a new manager comes in, they Things bring all so. their background stuff, their own coaches and everything, even like fitness departments. Eric Tenag hasn't had any of that, and so it's always fighting a losing battle there. So mm. hopefully. They'll keep him and then carry on. But otherwise, too shall he's been fucking saying, oh, I'll, I'll go to Manchester. Fuck off. Don't want you. Um, you know, I'm glad we didn't get Poch. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm trying to float around to see what other managers would be a feasible fit. But I don't really see anyone else no, there. No, I can't see no it's, uh, it's a 
a mad time because you think years ago there was there was loads that you could just go like yes Mourinho you want him you want fucking Ancelotti you want this you want that it's too hard now yeah. like, there's no there's no big hard hitting fucking managers out there no. to just say yeah let's get that geezer that's it I mean the one thing or the big name I think Conte but I don't think Conte remember him but he, again he is he over fit. it now as well though? no I just no I think I think Spurs are just Spurs in it but I, 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 don't I don't think, think the Premier League suits him. I don't know. He don't want to chance. I don't know. It just, it just, it's if your players suit that manager as well, everything's got to marry up perfect. Yeah, yeah. But it'd be interesting to see who, who takes over after Klopp leaves. Yeah, and then when uh, Liverpool are back in mid table next season, we will fucking hear That's what you're it. saying, then, on Thursday. <laughs> well, they're already doing it. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck think, you, that. I think they've just You're been a... drawn out against Sparta Prague. Oh, that's it. What's that? What's that? The worst one? Uh, the U- Europa Conference that's League, it. isn't it? There we go, there. Um, yeah. Well, you know, at least it's looking better for United now this season. Otherwise, we was looking at the Conference League at one point this season. Right. Now, it is getting on. We're already over the hour point. But, yeah, there's, there's definitely this one that we've got to get out. Mm. So, We've got a two-parter from Steve. Right. Steve's telling us about his mates and his, fucking, uh, his mate's girlfriend. Yes, we asked for more. On the, yeah. We asked for more context. His, she, his friend was, his girlfriend, his friend's, friend's girlfriend was doing OnlyFans. Only fans, got recognised. They've had a fucking Barney. His mate's been sleeping on his sofa. That's it. So, Steve, he's fucking getting on it, kid. He's uh, emailed back, so... All right, lads. Mm. I had some real talk with my mate. Good man. <laughs> uh, I can just... No, I don't know where he's from, but no, as I was reading this out the other day, I've, I've, I've got fucking... I've got like a bit of a cockney vibe in my head. Uh, I had some real talk with my mate. Bit of a shoulder to cry on. Uh, so he told me more about the OnlyFans saga. Uh, she started off during lockdown, mm. which a lot of them seemed to do, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before they got together, right. uh, started off with pictures, then scal- scaled up to getting dicked on cam. So she was uh, having full penetration sex with other men on camera, for anyone that doesn't know what dicked on cam is. Uh, apparently, <laughs> she hasn't been with another man since they've been together. Hmm. Uh, just sticks to solo stuff. You wouldn't say what kind of shit she does. So obviously Steve's well, asked. Yeah, I assume that that's probably everything. Then means he doesn't want to say. And if she's getting full blown wah, there's not there's not much more after that. Yeah, but if she, if she hasn't been with another man since the like she got in a mm. relationship with him, like what kind of solo stuff is she yeah, doing? That's yeah. what he wouldn't say. Uh, so he says they're going out for a coffee and a chat to see if they can get things settled or keep you updated. Right. And he has updated us. Oh, okay. So it was a couple of days later. He fucking sent it in like a little gem. Fucking sweet. Uh, so the update, they went for a drink. He's calmed down and got an understanding of the situation. He's moved back in on the terms that he sees the content going out to make sure he's okay with it. That's fair enough. So happy days. Like, it's getting fucking sorted. Mm. He's, he's give his head a wobble and... uh. He's fucking back with the missus. Well, uh, yeah, it, it must he it must be happy with whatever content she's been doing then. So all can all I can imagine, I mean, probably not in the cost of coffee log, but she sat there, got the laptop out and that and gone, look, this is what I do. Fucking, you know, I'll, I'll get this monster yeah. fucking rubber dildo, shove it up my ass a little bit, fucking, you know, give it a little fucking lick here and there. And uh, send it off. So he's got to be comfortable with it. Well, I mean, how comfortable can you be? Look, I, I don't know how much Steve had a real talk with him about, you know, but we was on about is so we'd be more acceptable with it as long as the law she wasn't ruining her own sex drive for their sex life. Mm. So I wonder if they've had that conversation. Is it? Like, am I just going to get it fucking on birthdays and Christmas because mm. you're fucking feasting yourself every day? Or am I still going to get my piece? Right. So hopefully they've had that conversation. Um, 
I wonder if she's asked him to join him on cam. Well, if he's got a little dick, he's not going to want to, is he? Steve, let us know. <laughs> you know, have you done a, a, a Jay Garrett and fucking tucked him off in the locker room? Um, <laughs> do you know if he's got a little pecker? Fucking, uh, but yeah, you know, yeah, so good. He's fucking, he's uh, listened to our second hand advice mm-hmm. because Steve's had the fucking the chat. Hopefully, you did us justice. Um, Hopefully you haven't told him to listen to the podcast if he's telling these fucking secrets on air. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, tell him to feel free after it's blowing over. Don't get him to listen to these episodes. Um, yeah, fucking, yeah, hope, hopefully it's all good for him. And uh, yeah, maybe if he does start joining in, um, he can earn some money from it as well. Let's see, I think that's what it's going to be. I think she's probably said, all I'm doing is this. I'm earning this much. I'll, I'll I'll show you what I'm putting out beforehand. I wonder what he thought she did for a living though. First, like because they were living together. Yeah. After, like where's she hiding all the sex toys? And then, well, that's if she's using sex toys, and I don't know. Um, well, the fact that she's doing solo stuff, it would have to be something solo, but worthwhile, you know, to get money from it. Yeah, it can't just be. But it's like. Yeah, I just don't. I don't get what does he think that she did. Yeah, that's so like, that would. You know what? If you can help that on that, because that'd be really interesting actually to find what did he, what did he for? Yeah, her like, did, did she think like did he think that she just had an IT job at home or something? Mm. Um, you know, because she I, started. So, sorry, Jazz, because she yeah. started in lockdown. That's a well, four years ago now. Yeah. Yeah. Go over, well, nearly five years now, isn't it? Because it was at the end of, well, yeah, four and a half. Yeah. It was the end of 2019, COVID 19. Yeah, but lockdown started at yeah, April 2020. Yeah. So it's, mm, that's a good question, actually. Mm. I wonder what he thought or whatever she told him or because there was. But again, I wonder if he did they have that conversation? Like, mm. did, did he just move in? Like, I'm assuming it was her house. I don't know if they bought a house together or rented a house well, together. No, because. If you're an only fans on social media, you can't get a mortgage. It's you have to pay the house outright because they won't give you a mortgage because you can't guarantee that income every month to pay back. I don't know. Mate. Yeah, I don't know. I've not done that much research on only fans to be honest. No, I only <laughs> as a, I think I mentioned last time. I suppose because you class as self-employed, don't you? Yeah, it's like um, I watch a thing with a, a liver at Wood, and one of the models says, "No, they won't give you a mortgage if you, if only fans is your only work." So. You have to pay the house out, Roy. So you never know. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she is doing it on the side. I don't know. Both. But even, well, yeah, if you can let us know about that, it'd be interesting. Actually, yeah. So. I mean, Steve, obviously, it's your mate. You would have met her enough times as well over the time. Uh, what did you think she did for work as well? Or? That's a question. Yeah. Yeah. And has he had a look at her OnlyFans handle? Well, he hasn't uh, give the the link to it or anything. Keep him to himself. Mate, oh fuck you! But even if it, I was sent to it, I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna waste money. I when phone's free, yeah. I ain't gonna waste money. Yeah, I've always, some people just, just <laughs> some people just love not like his missus. Fuck you now. Oh god, right. We have waffled on long enough. We didn't even spoke about any of the things. Well, I had this thing about worms that I wanted to talk about. Right. Not me having worms or anything, or the dog having worms. Just fucking worms. mad. But I'll try and remember to talk about it next week. Uh, we ain't spoke about the weather again. We've spoke yeah. about that a lot lately. Um, loads of things, you know, all the important news that's happened this week. I don't know what's happened, but, you know, there was stuff that we was going to talk about, but yeah. we just haven't got around. There's even another email that we haven't got enough time for. Um, but we'll say that we're going to open up next week's episode with yeah. that. Probably talk shit first again, but we will start off with that. And we want to give the reminder. We want those text messages, them titty pics. I mean, uh, WhatsApps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because obviously, as we said earlier in the show, it's our fiftieth fiftieth episode on the next episode. So we just would want... have been fifty two. Last episode would have been number fifty, but there was the two that got fucked over because oh, of corrupted yeah, files. And that. Yeah, yeah. Well, then we would have done something a bit special. For that one, yeah, it would have been yeah. last week's episode that would have yeah. been that. So we're just so trying. To... It's literally it's a year anniversary as well as episode fifty. It's a year of yeah. doing the podcast. So yeah, how it... time flies when yeah, you're it... having fun. <laughs> no, be... <laughs> <laughs> well, you laugh like no, you're having fun. No, this no. is our social life, you prick. 
it is. But no, it'd be if you know if we can get a lot of questions, we'll go for them or or emails. You know, just to make next week's just a bit more special, a bit more longer. Yeah. Obviously, me and JD would you know talk about how you know we just talk. Maybe we do our favorite episodes and what we've learned from doing a podcast and a little insight. Fuck all. A little real talk insight. Oh, it'll be one it. of the realest episodes yeah. ever. But yeah, if you want to send, you know, your messages yeah, we over. Yeah, we want it all. Just here's send it. or whatever. And say, you can ring it all you like as well. I'm not going to answer it. Because like, I know that some cunts kind of went there. Like, someone's going to fucking like, put it on a private number and try and like, badger it all night long. Yeah. Like, like, James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll answer really... to that sketch <laughs> well, fuck off you all <laughs> yeah. oh, um, but yeah just, just fucking ping them over uh, yeah. but yeah as I said, I'm not going to have the phone on me all the time I'm not going to be going to sleep with it fucking like next to the pillow not fucking anything like that you dirty bastards um, so yeah I will just check it like once a day maybe mm. and then I'm just going to wait for them and you know, if, if if you're lucky, I'll text you back as well. But I'll fuck off, you dickhead. Um, <laughs> well, to be fair, it's not a sim that I'm going to have credit on. Mm. So if it's a WhatsApp, I might WhatsApp you back. But oh yeah, I ain't going to sit there. Fucking, I, I don't even text pe- people that I don't know in general. So, uh, but yeah, just a reminder again, if you can't be asked to look down in the description, you just want to listen to it and memorize it. We have got the number of plus four four if you're outside of the UK. But inside the UK, we've got 07470488096. Keep the fucking messages coming. Keep the emails coming. Keep it all. Keep the liking, the sharing, the downloading. Subscribe, follow if you know and all that. You all know what to do. We don't need to keep saying it, but we have to say it because some of you can be a bit lazy sometimes, but we all do it. <laughs> I, I don't always download or like no, that. You no. know, we're all guilty of it. it. It just helps us out. I mean, it does. It we, really does, to be fair. We appreciate, you know, you just putting like two minutes in just to send an email or now a yeah. text. You know, it, it really helps build this podcast. And yeah, it just helps. It just makes it easier for me and you just, I suppose it happens more organically because we're just talking nonsense rather than, yeah. you know, not, not trying to find a purpose to talk, but it's just, it's easy to bounce off. So we really do appreciate everyone. Yeah, well, it's, it's like even early doors, which says... It, you know, we don't know enough about football to make a football cup podcast, but we still spent 20 minutes chatting shit about fucking United, Chelsea, Harry Kane, and um, earlier. Uh, and uh, oh, yeah, on that note, fuck Sam Smith. Uh, mm, <laughs> and real. yeah, send them all in. We'll see you for the big 50 next week. And hopefully, you have a good week, and that, yeah? Yeah. Peace.